So I'm going to kick off the, the first presentation. Um, my name's Steve Hayes. I look after the EMC and safety activities for track uh, based up in Malvern. Um, and really, I just wanted to sort of set the scene in terms of what's happening, uh, in terms of change in legislation uh, and requirements, which will have an impact on, uh, on many of you here this morning. So, a bit of a shocker to start, I'm afraid. <laughs> that every CE marking directive will or will just about to be changed under this new legislative framework. <gasps> Sharp intake of breath. It's, the new legislative framework has been brought about. It was published um, late 2008, or mid-2008, apologies, um, and basically starts to have effect from the beginning of this year. The idea of it is to give C marking directives teeth for the first time. For all those companies out there that have gone about C marking in a professional way, got all your compliance folders up to date, keeping yourself abreast of legislation, making sure that you've done the right tests, that adds a cost or a certain cost to the product design. If you're losing market share because of low cost product, is one of the reasons why that's occurring because the competitive product hasn't necessarily done things in the same way as you have and therefore has a cost advantage by not having to go through that test regime. So under this new legislative framework, it now will require market surveillance authorities to go out and do some active policing of CE marking to ensure this level playing field is achieved across the whole of the EU. So improved market surveillance, reinforces conformity assessment bodies and accreditation requirements. That's more of an issue for people like ourselves, test houses, um, where the rules on, and, and the hurdles that we have to jump through to get ISO 17025 accreditation, which is done through UCAS in the UK, perhaps might be different to the way that the rules are applied in other European countries, like <coughs> Spain or Italy, perhaps. Um, it clarifies the meaning of CE marking, and what I mean by that is, why are you actually putting a CE mark on the product itself? What is the point of it? Well, I mean, the real point of it is to allow free movement of goods within the EU. So rather than having national boundaries and borders, the dotted line goes around the whole of the outside of the EU. All 24 European countries, well, we're not countries anymore, we're member states, there is no internal border control. So the CE marking really is just a simple mark on a product, on the packaging, to say the requirements that this product has been tested to are the same in this country and any other of the 24 other member states around the EU. Incidentally, there is a public consultation going on at the moment to do with putting CE marks on products that really shouldn't have a CE mark on at all. A good example of that is a teapot. Teapots don't fall under any CE marking legislation. But some importers, suppliers, are actually putting CE marks on teapots to fool consumers like us into thinking that this teapot <coughs> must be better than the other teapot that doesn't have it, and they're so, therefore gaining some competitive edge. So there will be enforcement action taken upon products which are placed on the market but have a CE mark that shouldn't have one just as much as those that have put them on there illegitimately. It establishes common legal framework across the EU as well and again that will just aid how the rules are applied and standardise that across all the different member states within the EU. So with all European directives we have to transpose those into our own national law. In the UK, directives are transposed and given a statutory instrument number. That makes it UK law. And for most of CE marking directives, it's then saying things like, it's a criminal offence if you don't apply this, you will go to prison, there will be a fine which will in, be in pounds sterling, 
as opposed to other countries which perhaps have implemented it not in a criminal way but in just civil legislation and therefore you won't go to jail but then equally there are more draconian uh, penalties in terms of financially up to 80,000 euros for example in Germany can be the fine if uh, C marking has been applied properly there. So when we transpose the new legislative framework into UK law we have to then publish and, and tell the rest of the members.